audio for um, my voice, but there was no sound in the music. You know, it's funny though, this is the only normal Sephiroth clone. Got a runny nose, but I'm not sick. That's the thing I hate. There's some kind of trick here that you can do actually. Um, it is said that you could get, you could actually play a Sephira, but I don't know how this will make sense because it says you need Yuffie to do this, which cannot happen. They said that when you walk in here, you talk to him 50 times with Yuffie on your team, and then you, she gets replaced by Sephiroth. Yeah, I would pick something up at the market if you tell me what the fuck it was. I know it's petty shit, but still, I need the money. Even in my other file, I, I ended up robbing that kid. Kid, you're in Midgar. You just mean you want to be able to go to the upper plate. But this this song kind of sounds like a low budget porno song. You can make a porn out of it, like a striptease out of it. But this song, on the other hand, if you hear this song more than a few times, you'll start to pass out. And my question to the entire world of Final Fantasy is, why in the fuck? Is this the only place in Midgard that has a running water and plant life? Someone please explain this to me. How is it possible that of all the places in Midgard, this is the only one that has a clean river? I mean, look, that water is blue and drinkable, and Barry was complaining about, oh, how the whole place is polluted. Just come the sector, wait, is it sector? I'm guessing it's sector five. Yeah, wait, yeah, it is sector five. It's Sector 5, and it's got running clean water and plant life. Look at this. I mean, geez, really, it's... You could run a business from that house. It's like, you want... Fresh supply of clean water that's not Mako infused. Come down to Eris' house. You were followed again, weren't you? It's like it's just typical for her. It's like, oh, you were followed again, weren't you?
Is Tifa a girl? Nah. She's just what I call that one guy in the street corner who just happens to look like a girl. Yes, is Tifa a girl? What are you, stupid? A girl friend? You better believe she is. Ah, you've just been friend zoned, bitch. Keep your ass away from, like, not even at arm's length. Keep this fucking bitch away from the cloud. It's Tifa's girl. That's Tifa's guy. Why does he see Tifa's girl? I'm reading too much fan fiction. <laughs> Used to it. I don't know. Getting help from a girl. Okay, alright, hold on a minute. I know inside Midgard looks like the 40s, but don't act like it's the fucking 40s, Cloud. You're in like, like the future 2000s. Oh, you done it now, Cloud. You done it now. <laughs> I give up. You never listen once. You made up mind. Soldier, right? Yeah, he used to be. I don't know how to say this, but could you please get the fuck out of here without telling Eris? That's the last thing Eris needs is to get hurt again. Yeah, because every mom I've ever met has usually told me that, and even though I've been very nice to their daughters, they're like, "Listen, uh, I don't want to sound rude or anything, but..." You think possibly you could get the fuck out of the house and not see my daughter again? It's like, why? She's dating me. It's like, yeah, I know. It's just that she should date somebody her own kind. Yeah, let me tell you guys something. I've actually had multiple times where I've had my girlfriend's moms tell me to leave their daughters because of race. Which is the most fucked thing you can ever say to a person you know it's like i could treat this girl like a queen and have their parents be like you think you could like just stay the fuck away from my daughter like they think i'm gonna pimp her out or something it's like i'm not gonna do that i'm not those kind of spicks i'm not like those guido spick types you know the kinds that would just cheat on a girl and be like yeah i did it so what you know you you know these bitches ain't loyal i'm not gonna do that far from it What are the chances I'm gonna go back to sleep? I have no idea, to be honest. There are a lot of temptations in the city. There's only one! Tifa! She's the only temptation. Soon they're gonna make an episode called The Temptations of... Wait, The Last Temptation of Cloud. Wasn't there a movie called like The Last Temptation of something? I, I forgot. Somebody write down in the comments below what it was. Huh. Whoa. You know, I always pass by that. Wait a minute. There's something on the wall. I can't read it. I think that was supposed to be a turtle... Co a turtle thingy. Turtle Cove bar or something.
Oh my god, Eris, you magician! How the fuck did you get up there so quick? Are you finished? Well... Wait! If you never knew who Tifa was, how the hell do you know what the hell the bar is called? I mean, what, did you ask the planet what Tifa's bar is called? getting a little loud. I should probably ignore the volume. <laughs> Would you stop attacking fucking Eris? Would you stop attacking Eris? I mean, I know we all want her to die, but fuck. What is the deal with this house? Why didn't it kill Eris so bad? <clears throat> oh, fuck you! Alright, just to kind of keep the video going, I'm probably just gonna skip ahead after. If I see one of those things again, I'll probably just have to skip through it, because... Damn. You know what? Hold on. There we go. That way she has a much stronger attack than that pussy little staff that she's got. This just reminds me of, like the neighborhood ghetto uh, playgrounds I used to hang out with as, as a kid. That with me, my brother, my friends. We just chill out on the, uh, on the play set, just hanging around, talking, and playing. Good old days. Back when I got along with my brother. But all shit happens when we move down to Florida. He started acting like an idiot. He started thinking he was black. He's, he's not, though. First class. I could use the bathroom bad, but if I use the bathroom now, you can hear it with the recording device on. Because it'll pick up background noise. It's like, nah, but I used them for a while. Chocobo, everyone needs a chocobo. I never, still, to this day, for some strange fucking reason, understand how she got involved in the whole Don Corneo business. All I remember is after the fifth reactor was destroyed, Barrett and Tifa escaped. Some shit happened, and now she got involved with Don Corneo. I don't still figure out. I still don't know how this shit even happened. 
Okay, I'm gonna save it here and turn that off because I need to figure something out before I try anything. Okay. Let me see if I can give this a try. Okay, they said talk to the guy on the left, and he'll give you a... He says to talk to some, one of these people here. There we go. No. Damn it. Then who the fuck do I talk to? Okay, I'm gonna find out on the line. Who the fuck am I supposed to talk to? I'm gonna talk to Okay, something's wrong. I need to figure out exactly which person I gotta talk to to get inside the honeybee, and I gotta look at the strategy guide. So, this is gonna be it for this episode, and I hope you guys had fun watching, even though I know it was kind of boring, but then again, so I was getting from Eris' house to here. It's not real much excitement. It's because the last time I used up so much data that it made my phone slow. So, I'm gonna add to upload this, then upload the next. And we'll see if we can get something through there. Alright, so tune in next time. This is Prototype Kaito. And I'll see everybody uh, later.